for the sign of Libra. Hello and welcome to my channel. We have the we have the two of wands and it's with the six of swords. Now this two of wands it's about keeping balance in every way that you can, even to the mundane, boring things like eating right and getting enough rest. It indicates a partnership also. Could be with another person. This could be business or personal or it could be both. This card, it reminds us to stay mindful of the give and take that's required for successful relationships. If things are feeling out of balance and you get this two of wands in your reading as you are, just know that they're about to get substantially better. So it's about keeping your eyes on the prize that what you're looking for. Keep, I'm sorry, keep your eyes on the prize that you're looking for. Metaphorically and remain positive. Now it's paired with the six of swords. Now this is showing a great time for travel. You see these two people in a boat or a canoe or whatever that is. So it's about metaphorical movement, a change in where you are inwardly. Usually it's a change for the better, whether it's internal or external. Think about where you want to be. There's a slight reduction in stress and strain. Things may not be perfect, but they're going to be better than they have been in the recent past. So take this time to get your head above the water and decide where you're going from here. Keep in mind, even a short break or a change of scenery, it's going to be helpful. And this doesn't have to cost money. So for the present time, coming up mid-May, I'm showing that you're, tr you're probably trying to find balance. And it's showing that if you try some type of m movement, maybe a change in where you are inwardly, maybe you're going through some type of change or... Some type of transition could be coming up. Maybe you're relocating or moving. And it's going to bring balance. It's going to make things a lot more... If you're with someone, it'll make it the connection a lot more equal. So it's about recovery here. Problems are being solved with the Six of Swords. And the Two of Wands brings, brings balance. You could have two options two paths to choose towards a future here and it brings it brings it takes things it, it, it turns things around for the better put it that way so if you're dealing with someone let's take a look at how they see you now they see you as five of cups and they also see you as a hangman now this five of cups it reminds us that where we put our focus in life it has a great deal to do with the quality of our lives and how well it works for us. So, you might be asking yourself, what are you going to choose to focus on? Because the implication is probably clear. Are you going to cry over spilt milk? Or are you going to focus on the milk that you still have and get on with things? The point is... Watch where you put your focus and make sure that the focus is for your highest good. So I don't know if you can see the picture, but this man has five cups. It looks like three of them are on the ground and whatever was in it, wine, milk, whatever that is, something red, it's spilled out of the cups and it's the cups are turned over. They're spilled over. And then he has two cups in his hands that are perfectly fine. Everything's just, everything is contained inside the cups. So, should he make a fuss about what's on the ground? Or should he just take those two cups that are perfectly healthy, perfectly healthy two cups in his hand, and just get on with things? So, they see you as having some disappointment, some loss, some regret, and they also see you as um, this hangman. Now the hangman is showing that you, you're at a crossroads. It could be something like two option type of crossroads, in or out, up or down. 
yes or no, you could find that you're wanting to do something, but you have no idea what it is or how to do it. Now, if that does happen, it's a sign you should stop, relax, and look at ways that you might need to let go of attempts to control life, situations, people, and things. So it's possible that there's an outdated attitude or wish that you need to let go of. Any sacrifice that you make, it's going to open up your life to something even more positive than what you let go of. So all in all, this should be a thoughtful, reflective time, particularly if you're willing to look at if or how you might serve your own best interest by being willing to change. Now, that's interesting. They see you as this hangman, and they see you as this five of cups. Now, both of these cards are about trying to let go of something. Now, this five of cups, like I said, they see you as having some disappointment. And when this five of cups talks about a relationship... It may have just ended or maybe about to start the process of ending. Okay? That's what the Five of Cups means when it comes to love. So they could see you uh, possibly walking away. They could see you abandoning this connection. And you have some loss and regret or you feel that way. There's grief with this Five of Cups. But for right now... You're, you're stuck in your head. You don't know if you should walk away or stay. If you should end this connection or stay. So you're confused. They see you as confused. Should you leave? Should you go? In or out? Up or down? Yes or no? That's where you're at. And that's how they see you, Libra. So let's move on over and let's take a look at how you see them. You see them as a four of pentacles and a ten of pentacles. <coughs> now, the four of pentacles, and that's an interesting card. Can you see this man where it says, you see them? Right above that word, you see that Tom text, you see them? Well, this man is on all fours, and he's holding on, he's got his hands on his Pinnacles. Pinnacles means coins, cash, money, finance. So he's got his hands and feet on his money. And this card is about holding on to things, people, money, situations longer than it's healthy. Much longer than it's realistic. So it's a sign that you may need to Take a careful look at what you're clinging to and whether others are clinging to you in an unhealthy way. So it points to anxiety and fear. It could be about money or clinging to whatever makes you feel secure. So there, the key is to realize that being anxious and grasping, it does not bring security. So you see them as being really firm. And they, they don't want to change. There's resistance to change here. So there's fear. They could be trying to hold too tight to this connection. Maybe they're afraid of losing you. But we know true love, it allows for space. And you see them as this four of pentacles, but it's with the ten of pentacles. Ten of pentacles, wow. Ten of Pentacles is beautiful. Everybody, everyone wants the Ten of Pentacles. It's not short of any Pentacles. Ten is the tops. Ten of Pentacles, it means that you've got a lot to be thankful for. A great deal. Relationships, finance, health. All of those things, they'll be going well. They should be going well. And consider how you got to such a happy situation. And make the best of it. And be sure to share what you have, even if it's a kind word spoken to someone in need. Because we give back what we give out. So you see them as wanting this Ten of Pentacles with you. Or this is what they want. And like I said, the Ten of Pentacles is beautiful. If you're in a relationship, it can mean moving to the next level. Living together, engagement, marriage, childbirth. 
all of that is an indicator is indicated by this card it's a very peaceful happy period in a love life looks like they looks like you see them as you know that they want the end all be all with you and they're clinging to you really tight very tightly um, yeah they, there's some unhealthy clinging here because they you see your person as they're choosing you they don't want to let you go they don't want to lose you so let's take a look at why it's happening now we got the we got the nine of swords first and then we got the chariot okay now this nine of swords it's about the need to guard against feelings of anxiety Take a good look at whether or not any of it's under your own power or control and try to lessen it. Or if things or people in your life are contributing to this anxiety, yeah, try to fix it. Try to take care of that. If this is the case, take a good look at it and see whether or not something in the relationship can be changed to make it more workable. There's something about this time period that can cause people to feel like their life should be in some way more or bigger than it is or just different so try to take comfort and joy in the ordinary things and just know that's where the beauty is so this is one of the reasons why it's happening someone someone's having nightmares and anxiety something could be troubling you or your person with regards to this relationship Now it's with the chariot. The chariot is this beautiful horse and carriage. It's going really fast, really fast. The picture where it says "Why happening below is the that's a chariot card. It goes about a hundred miles an hour, maybe faster, really fast. I don't know if it can stand at a hundred miles, but it goes really fast. Um, it's about a lot of energy, but it's not a free for all energy. It's directed, it's controlled, and it has a goal in mind. So when this card appears, you're likely to be fairly clear on what your hopes and dreams involve and what you're willing to do to make them come true. Now, this card it points to determination, ambition, getting things done and testing and proving that you got what it takes. It's a sign that you should move forward with whatever you have in mind and in your heart. And give it your best shot. But you have to use both, your intellect and your heart, in order to truly be successful. So, this is the other reason why it's happening. It's possible that this connection or you or your person, somebody or the relationship, it went too far, too fast with this chariot here. Or someone, you or your person, could be pressuring you that way. And now there's anxiety and worry and being stressed out. So, let's get the clear picture for this reading. Okay, so we'll recap it. And get the full picture. So, for the present time, we've got the Two of Wands. Okay, uh, it's about possibly having two choices to make, two paths towards the future, and it could be about uh, wanting to make a future with your person. Okay, now it's with the Six of Swords. So, this card, Six of Swords, is about moving to calmer waters. There's resolution and recovery here. And, like I said before, they see you as trying to decide. Should you stay or should you go? Because this Five of Cups is about possibly um, starting to end 
a connection or just possibly walking away because there's some disappointment, something happened that caused some grief, some hardship in this connection or towards you. And they see you stuck in your head and you don't know should you stay or should you go or what should you do because something happened here. Okay? And you see them as wanting you to stay. <laughs> yeah, because you see them, have, they have the Ten of Pentacles. They, you see them as holding on to you really tight. They don't want this breakup. They do not want it. If you can see the look on this man's face, his eyes look like they're about to pop out of his head. And his brain looks like it's about to explode on the Five of Pentacles. And he's, all, he's on all fours. So they have no intentions of letting you go, Libra. You're their person. They're stuck on you. And why it's happening? Because whatever happened, whatever fight you guys had that caused this Five of Cups, it could be you who's, who's having anxiety now. Maybe you still don't know which way to go. Or Because we know they're still having anxiety because they don't plan on letting you go. They're trying to figure out how to make you stay. So this, why it's happening, this um, Nine of Swords up there, this, this car could go either way with the anxiety. You or your person is just having hardship right now. And probably some nightmares you... You don't know you don't know what to do and they're afraid you're gonna run off and leave this connection and it's probably because um, either this like I said this connection it went too far too fast something happened that just got carried away and it just messed things up something went too fast and it just looks like it just threw things off balance yeah so I'm showing that this connection has the possibility, it has the, it's possible that it could become balanced. But right now it looks like it's off track because it just went too fast. And they see you as, like I said, possibly walking away. But they don't want this. You're, you're the person for them. But, um, like I said, if you go back to the present time, um, this two of wands it's about your person wanting to, wanting a future with you yeah they may have two options to a future or two paths to choose but they want a future with you with this two of wands and they want this connection to be like the six of swords for the present time these people in the boat they want this connection to move to calmer waters because something happened in now they see you ready to leave. Yeah, and they're in a panic. Because like I said, they're stuck on you. They want the Ten of Pentacles with you. But it looks like it has potential to turn around. Or your person can just be wishing and hoping that you two move into calmer waters. And that with the Two of Wands, they're still just hoping and wishing to have a future with you. So the present time can go either way. It could be that they're just hoping and wishing for this present time. Six of Swords and the Two of Wands, they're hoping it moves to Karma Waters and you choose a path with them. Or it actually does. It could turn around to be better. So yeah, something went too far, something got out of hand with this chariot it's showing up in your reading. Something got out of hand and yeah, it looks like you're ready to bounce. And they're not they're not gonna let you go though. Yeah, I'm telling you now, they're they're not letting you go, Libra. So this is your reading. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified. That way you'll be notified. That way you'll be notified. 